Hello, this week we're going to be going over how to add a photo album to your website using the WP Photo Album Plus WordPress plugin. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fasting with success. Learn more on our website at startcompetenow.com slash tutorials. You can sign up for our weekly alert about a new tutorial that was added there, or you could also just subscribe to this channel. That will get started. I'm going to add this plugin first. Um, as we go on, you'll see more and more about the plugin. This plugin is very new to me, um, but I did I do like it and I do recommend it. I uh, just installed it on another site and I uh, was very happy with how it looked and how it came out. So you're gonna search WP Photo Album Plus, and um, as we search for that, if you need to skip ahead at any time in the video, I do have a uh, table of contents listed below, so that you can skip to major sections if you've already downloaded this plugin or just kind of stuck at one uh, one place. So that was WP Photo Album Plus. All right, and you're just gonna go ahead and activate that plugin. All right, so now that's activated. But one thing I did learn about this plugin uh, on my own was um, it's gonna be on the left, right at the bottom, but it doesn't go right away. So you just have to. Um, I just would go to the dashboard, just click on the dashboard, and then when you scroll down you'll see that the photo albums have been added. Okay? So, let's click on photo albums first. You want to, um, let's create our first album. So, create new album. Another thing about this plugin is that it has an autosave feature. Uh, I didn't notice that at first either. So, once I filled all these fields in, uh, all I saw was reset and I didn't see save, but it actually does autosave everything. So. I'm going to name my first album Interior. You can name yours whatever it needs to be. Alright, so it's not going to have a parent album. Order doesn't matter right now. Alright, so link type uh, album, album thumbnails. So I did album photos of slideshows. Alright, so now that's all saved. Now you want to add some photos. You can go to the left and hit upload photos. Alright, so now we're going to do choose files, and um, I have my photos here that I want to add, so I'm doing the interior painting ones, um, depending on what you're doing, <laughs> that's up to you, but I'm going to start adding just some of these pictures from the interior, alright, and then just hit open that, upload multiple photos, if you're wondering how I was doing that, you hold down if you, unless you have a Mac user, I'm not sure if you'd hold down Command, whatever, but you hold down Control and then just click on the pictures that you want that'll allow you to upload multiple. Alright, so 12 photos were uploaded. Uh, if your server allows, this is just stuff about your host, I'm not sure what your host does, but if you need to upload one photo at a time, or two or three or four or five, it's because of your server. But don't worry about it. Um, I think most hosting providers will allow you to, to do what you need to do in, in this type of thing. Alright, so now we're actually ready to add this, this slideshow to a, uh, or slideshow, the, um, the album to a page. It's going to have a slideshow feature. Um, let's pick what page we want it on. I'm going to add it to my About Us page. Alright, I'm going to hit Edit Page. Okay, let me get this stuff off of here. Now, when you go to edit the page, you're going to have this special icon added to the visual editor, WPPA plus gallery shortcode. All right, so that's what we want to click. All right, so type of the cover of the album. You could pick a um, different one if you wanted to, but I'm just going to say the cover. And please select the album, interior. Okay, size of the display. I'm just going to do 550. This could depend. This could vary depending on what your size of your website is. You can adjust it as you need to. And then I'm going to center it. Insert. You'll see that it's added that short code in. Hit update. All right. Now let's view the page. Okay. And there's the cover. Click on that. 
All right, so you see that it is added. You notice that there is these breadcrumbs, and there is a, a lot of space here. It's all kind of, um, and then you have the rating. I don't know if you want them to be able to do ratings. It's not even really working for me. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of all that stuff. Um, also, before I do, if you go to edit the page, you can change up the way this looks. Um, you know, on, you have to take time on your own to really play with all these, but um, you know, figure out the one that you want, think is best for you. So what I, what I think I liked was, um, let's see, slideshow without slideshow of the photos in the album. I think I did, and then I picked interior, and then I'll do my size again, and we'll do center update. And let's just view that and see how it looks. Yeah, so you see it starts out as a slideshow already. I don't, I don't really think it's necessary to have, you know, if I was going to do this on my own, I'd have a different slideshow on each of the pages, you know what I mean? It'd just be a little bit easier. So, yeah. sorry, that's my email. I can still go through, but you can see there's all this extra space that's not really needed. So if you go back into your site and you go onto the left and you go to fo photo albums, click on settings, and there's so many settings you can adjust. You can adjust the colors of of the, the background areas here. You can adjust all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit that into a, this type of a video. I just want to show you guys the basics and uh, so that you can get it up and running. But you can take your own time to really go through every single thing and, and customize it as you please. But I will show you how to at least make it a little bit more acceptable looking. Um, you, for example, I don't have all these file names I don't want showing. I don't want this extra space and I don't want the ratings. What you're going to do is go down and you're going to click on, let's see. Okay, so breadcrumbs. Um, I don't want them. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't really think it's necessary for this type of uh, application. Right, Slideshow-related settings. Um, photo name. So I just clicked on slideshow-related photo name. I don't want. I don't want the description. And the, again, this is all auto-saving, so you don't have to worry about saving it. Enable rating. Oh, here we go. Or enable ratings. I don't want those. I don't want comments. Okay, and that's it. That should do it. So now I'm gonna those that's all saved. So I'm gonna go back to my page. I'm gonna hit about, refresh it. You can see that's cleaned up pretty nicely. That's just showing the photos and it's showing the slideshow. Um, that's definitely what I prefer. <laughs> so they can click add to a photo if they wanted to. Well, they can click back to one if they need to. And um, that's it. So this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast and success. Learn more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Or uh, just subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.